Pirate surgery is probably the most common uh, surgery in the head and neck uh, field practiced uh, nowadays. And um, the frequency, the incidence of thyroid cancer is increasing and uh, it's a very uh, technical operation. And uh, potentially there are uh, several complications that can occur uh, during a thyroidectomy, especially uh, concerning the laryngeal nerves, the voice nerves, uh, and the parathyroid glands. Also, the thyroid gland is a very uh, well vascularized organ, so uh, uh, a potential, potentially fatal complication that can occur after thyroidectomy is hematomas, uh, post-operative hematomas. Uh, finally, there is the scar on the neck, which usually is very aesthetic, very nice, but uh, uh, the surgeon has to take some uh, measures to make it more aesthetical. So uh, we, we talked about uh, how uh, the surgeon uh, could avoid the appearance or try to avoid the appearance of these complications. So there are several measures that can be taken. Uh, but the most important thing for sure is the knowledge of the anatomy of the thyroid gland and of its surrounding structures. Uh, this anatomy is quite variable, especially concerning uh, uh, the nerve, the number of its branches, and each branch has to be carefully preserved. Uh, and the extreme uh, variation of the parathyroid glands anatomy. The parathyroid glands are very tiny glands, small like that, two to three millimeters, usually four, and they are four glands and they are very uh, closely attached to the posterior aspect of both thyroid lobes. Uh, and the surgeon must be very careful in order to preserve them when uh, he or she does a thyroidectomy. So because they control the calcium metabolism and once they are injured or removed, uh, the calcium levels drop dramatically and this can lead to, con to significant uh, symptoms. Uh, regarding the laryngeal nerves, uh, recently there have been some measures, uh, some, some uh, devices that can do uh, an objective uh, monitoring of the laryngeal nerves during thyroid surgery. Uh, this monitoring uh, uses special uh, cannulas, tubes, uh, endotracheal tubes with uh, monitor sensors uh, on the vocal folds, on the vocal cords, and the surgeon can actually stimulate the voice nerves during the thyroid surgery in order to assure that they are intact functionally. And this is obviously an extra measure to uh, uh, be safe about their uh, action, their physiological action. Uh, finally, um, there are several devices in the industry that help to uh, uh, seal and cut the numerous blood vessels that come to the thyroid gland, especially in large growths, in large goiters. And this helps uh, very much the surgeon to control the bleeding to make a safer operation and to leave less stitches, stitch ties uh, within uh, the neck of the patient. Electrical cauteries are very uh, traditional, have been, along for, uh, have been around for a long time. But uh, more recently there are other technologies and uh, my favorite one, and I have no conflicts of interest whatsoever, is the harmonic uh, scalpel technology, which actually is not a, uh, um, uh, electrical, but it's a very high speed vibration which denatures the proteins and seals the vessels, as well as uh, this particular one that I use cuts the vessels. So it's very safe, uh, uh, fast, and uh, I think it's very adequate for thyroid surgery. Thank <laughs> you.